Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? In this uh, video, I wanted to show you how to use Python and use specifically the Skippy library to do a ARP request. Okay, very simple. So there, I'm actually running this in my Kali machine. So there are many tools actually that will let you do that ARP request thing built in. One of those would be uh, NetDiscover, okay? I don't know if you need pseudo privileges so let's figure out and let's give that a range and my network is running at 192 168.1.1 and let's give it 24 subnet okay so it says you need to be root okay so up arrow and then do a pseudo here and there we go so it's looking if you see it's trying to send uh, the packets and let's see if we have anything I up oh, I provide the wrong IP address so there is nothing at 198 I'm sorry let me should close and uh, 192 168 124 that is the right one so now there we go so what I got back so it's uh, I have captured two different ARP requests from two different hosts okay and the ARP request size is 60 you don't need to worry about this one too much but the important thing is that you have one IP address 192.168.1.1 and that is the uh, address MAC address and you have another one uh, that is running at 192.168.1.110 and that is running at uh, 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 this particular MAC address. So let's just copy this one and I want to save this information for, for our own shared just to make sure that when we do and uh, run our python you know they match oh, that's not a very good it picked up a whole lot so what i'll do i'll just try to copy this much and paste it here and this much and paste it here okay then comment it out and if you look at the code uh, yes i'm importing this kp and i am creating a arp request with a very small skp.arp and then over here, uh, where's the destination IP or IP range? This can be like a slash 24 as well. What is it where you wanna send the uh, ARP request? And you are you are really creating the broadcast address as well, ip.ether, and here's the, you typically send it to the broadcast address, okay, so it goes to everybody. So whoever knows about these IPs, whoever has it, whatever IP, they will respond back to you. Now you're combining these two packets and this is a way to combine the uh, two different requests like request app request on the broadcast with skippy and then what you're doing you're actually sending the packet with this method is rp you're sending the combined packet to the network and you are saving this as an answered list and uh, so this is coming back as a tuple People like computers who are answering, those information will be in this one. And uh, if you don't get any response for the IPs, that information will be stored here. And Skip, you also got a very nice uh, summary method. You can do then or answer list or summary, and that should give you something that would look very similar to this. So let's go back to the terminal and uh, let's uh, try to run the Python code that we have. And to do that, again, this code is going to need the sudo privilege. I'm going to say Python. And the file name that I have is networkscanner.py. So if I run this one, it's running. It's uh, then begin emission, finish sending 256 packets. Why? Because we said, uh, did we say anything? Let's see. By default, it picked up. Uh, oh, there we go. So we are sending packets to the 192.161.124. So it's sending packets to 256 uh, packets to that many hosts. And it got two different response, like exactly same like this, just a little bit different the way it's presented. So it's saying uh, 192.161.1 says to this guy, so 192.161.105, that ARP, this six seven so this this is the mac address for one so let's validate if this matches with our net discover two so we go a little bit up so it's starting with zero it ending with c7 
starting with uh, 0, 8, ending with C7. So that matches. And one temp, this is actually a Windows 7. And this one is starting with uh, 40, uh, 0, 8 and ending with 92. Let's come back. 0, 8 and 92. So both of them matches. So I know that with Python, I can write a very simple script that can help me to look at the arc table for a given IP or IP range. Now, the next thing that I wanted to demo, okay, what if I want to run an arc poisoning attack? Okay, so that would be the on path. So you can also write a Python script for that. And there are other tools. Let's uh, see if I can find, uh, In so this is the Kali. Okay, the Kali machine, what you can do uh, if you are doing pin testing uh, for your client, you could come over here. I think I was trying something over here. Give me one second. That window may be the one. Let's see what we have here. So let me just clear out the screen. And in this Kali, what we are going to do, do some up arrow and see if you already, if I already have the, it's not there. Let's see if this, if it's already here, then I don't have to type anything. There we go. So there is one, uh, one uh, tool within Kali that you can use. That's called the ARP spoof. Again, you need the sudo command. So what you are going to do, you are going to spoof the, the you want to send the MAC address. So when this guy, okay, so this is say your Windows host. When this guy is going to request for the ARP for 192.168.11, so that is your gateway, okay? So when this guy is going to request and ask, okay, what is the MAC address for your gateway? Instead of sending the right ARP, right MAC address, what you're going to do, you're going to capture the ARP request from this guy and tell him, okay, send him my IP address, my MAC address, okay? So what is going to happen you will notice so if i hit enter here so what i'm doing now i'm actually i've already started a arp poisoning attack so when this guy is going to request for a uh, arp table arp and and ask this guy okay one and one sixty one one what is your uh, mac address we're going to intercept that request and send this guy some wrong information so the packet can come to me now on the kali machine you should have the ip forwarding enabled so your packet will come to you and it will bypass your network or network interface card and go to the final destination to this guy okay and you will be able to start doing on path packet capturing now let's go back to our Python script as this is running. Okay, and see what is going on with that one. What happened to our Python script? Did we close that one? Okay, give me one second to reopen that script. All right, everybody. So I have uh, got the ID back. So to the right, I'm still sending my spoofing or ARP spoof. It is going uh, over the network and it is going to look for the uh, ARP request from this guy and it is going to tell this guy hey this 192.168.11 is actually not have uh, this particular mac it will change that mac address and tell hey come to a different mac address and let's see what happens now so first of all uh, if we can again run the sudo and then just say net discover and run it on the same network let's see what happens net discover and we are running it inside the kali machine okay so you are still getting the right output okay from the kali machine where i'm running it's not poison that arc table is giving you the right result so over here, if I run the Python program, it should also give you the correct result because the, the ARP table is not poisoned here, okay, in this machine. Okay, so this is good. And this is good, okay. Now, let's try to go to our Windows 7, okay. And if 
I go down to my Windows 7 and uh, let's open up my CMD and let's do uh, ARP dash A. Let's see what kind of uh, address we get for 1.1 .1. and what do you see? 192.168.11 is going to ARP address which is not this. This is here the correct MAC address should be C2, C7. But over here, if we see at the Windows 7, which is under attack right now using the R spoof, the address is showing up as 08002798FHC. Now you would think, okay, what is the MAC address? Whose MAC address is that? If you're guessing it correctly, it is the MAC address of the Kali machine. What I'll do, I'll stop the attack now. Okay, so I'm stopping the attack. Okay, now I have stopped the attack. And over here, if I do uh, if config and then uh, maybe grave for the ether, and you will see that this MAC address is probably in here somewhere. Where is go back to the Windows? So 0 f8 you see that 0 0 0 a 0 0 2 7 9 8 this is the one 0 0 0 a 0 0 2 7 9 8 0 f8 c that is probably part of the eth zero so if i remove the grape and just run this and go to the eth one and look for the mac address uh it's actually picking up this one eth zero and this is the MAC, ad MAC address that uh, is now poison within the windows. So what is going to happen, uh, the windows will, will, will now think that I, this Kali machine, is associated with the IP address. Whenever somebody is trying to go to the router, trying to go out to the internet, he will send the address not to the right device. It will send the address to the Kali. Kali will have the IP forwarding enabled, then from Kali, it will go to the right device and it will, you'll be able to do a on path attack. Now, that's what I wanted to demo. Now, in this demo that we did, we have used the ARP spoof as our tool of choice, okay? The other thing we wanna do is just go back and do another ARP A. And if you look at now, since the attack has stopped, okay, the ARP table there, uh, getting refreshed con uh, continuously so right now what do you see right now it's now went back to the right I, right mac address right 0002755c2c7 0, 0, 0, and that is that should be the right device so as i'm getting back the right ip and i have also stopped the attack it's telling me okay my attack was successful during the attack i was able to poison the mac address and i was pointing to the kali machine and now the attack has stopped and i have proven that now uh, it is going to the right mac address okay that's for the demo and i'm going to give you this small piece of code that you can play with and develop and i'll be developing this code as well as i go and we will write a small uh, our script our poisoning attack script using python it's just going to let you learn a lot of different uh, network security with python and just make sure that you are in a controlled environment just not going out to the internet not doing anything crazy and uh, be careful thank you